Okay, so in the previous video, we have made the delete button of our boards work. Now in this video, we want to make this delete button of our items work. So let's see how we can do that. So first, let's go to our item component. So here is our item. And let's see where is the button. So here is our delete button let's add a click event here so we're going to say add click and let's say we're going to call a function called handle item delete so handle item delete so let's create that function on methods Control c and we're going to have a methods object so we're going to say methods inside that we're going to have a method called handle item delete so again we're going to have we're going to use the event bus here so let's say let's import the event bus we're going to say import event bus from we're going to say add slash utils so add slash utils that is because in our utils folder we have this event bus.js so let's say add forward slash utils forward slash event bus.js save so now here we are going to say event bus so event bus dot emit and we want to emit event called delete I item delete actually let's see in our home page so for the delete board we say delete board so for the item delete let's say delete item that would be better so delete item and we need to add some data we need to pass some data to our event so let's do that so we are going to we need to have both board id and the item id to in order to be able to delete one item from a specific board so we're going to say board id so board id equals to and we need to receive both board, board id and the item id in our props so let's do that so let's see in our board component here is our item so we need to first pass our board id so we're going to say board id so it's colon board id equals to the board id we are receiving the board id as a prop i believe so here is a prop we are receiving the board id as id so we can pass that so board id equals to id and we also need to add the item ids or the index of our item so we are going to say colon item id equals to this time this will be the index the index we are getting in our loop so let me show you so as you can see in the for loop we are getting the index also so we are simply going to pass the index here so we are going to say item id equals to index save now let's receive them in our items component so we are going to receive the board id and the item id so board id and the item id So now here we are going to say board id equals to this dot board id so this dot board id and the item id equals to this dot item id save and now let's listen for this event in our home page so let's go to the home page and we are going to say event bus dot on delete item let's also console log the data let's see how it looks so we are going to say console dot log data save click on inspect and let's click on this delete button so delete and that, as you can see it says board id equals to zero that is because this is our first board and the item id is zero one so let's try to add another board let's say test board two submit and let's add an item here so let's say add item let's say test item let's set the priority to high so high submit and if we click on this it says board id to 1 and item id to 0 if we click on this it says board id to 0 and item id to 2 so let's let's try to use this data to delete the item from our boards let's see how we can do that so we can simply say this dot boards so this dot boards and then we need to target the board with the id that is same as the board id so this dot boards and then data dot board id dot item we want to delete item at the index of data dot item id so save and now if we click on delete the item should be deleted so let's try to delete this item so delete as you can see that item was deleted if we click on this one that that one gets deleted and we can delete this one also so yeah now we can delete both our boards and our I items so in the next video what we are going to do is make that item sortable so we should be able to click on this icon and then move our mouse to reorganize or sort the items so i'll see you in the next video